students, this is Kwaad Kankar. In today's lecture, we are going to cover theory which is radiation exchange between black bodies. In our previous videos, we have solved numerical which is based on radiation laws. We have learned Kirchhoff's law, Stephen Boltzmann law, Planck's law, Wayne's displacement law and Lambert cosine law. We have also studied difference between simple plane angle and the solid angle. We have solved numerical based on it. From today, we are going to start a new theory which is radiation exchange between black bodies. So let's start with the first slide. Suppose we have two bodies as shown in figure. The area of this plate is A1 which is maintained at temperature T1. The area of second plate is A2 and temperature is T2 respectively. Now to derive the relation between heat transfer by radiation between these two plates, we have to consider a differential area of both the plates. So for plate A1, we have considered small differential area which is Da1. Similar for plate A2, the differential area which is considered is a Da. The distance between connecting the center of both Da1 and Da2 is small r which is shown in figure. Now, from our knowledge of solid angle, we can say that d omega 1, which is solid angle made by da2 and which is subtended at da1. I repeat again, d omega 1 is a solid angle which is made by da2 and which is subtended at da1. Similarly, d omega 2 is a solid angle which is made by da1 and subtended at da2. So, from the definition of solid angle, we can write down d omega 1 is equal to da2 cos theta 2 divided by distance square, it means r square. Similarly, for d omega 2 is equal to da1 cos theta 1 divided by r square. Now, let's discuss about the energy leaving da1 in a direction given by angle per unit solid angle. It can be written as IB1 DA1 cos theta. Here, IB1 is the intensity of black body and DA1 cos theta 1 is for the direction. So, IB1 is black body intensity. Now, the rate of radiant energy leaving DA1 and striking on DA2 is given by DQ12122. Here, DQ because the area which we have considered is a differential area, not the whole area A1 and A2, it's about DA1 and DA2. So the heat transfer between this DA1 and DA2 can be denoted by DQ122. So this DQ122 means the energy or we can say the electromagnetic wave which is emitting from the DA1 and striking or incident on DA2 which is given by IB1 DA1 cos theta 1. This IB1 DA1 cos theta 1 is the amount of electromagnetic wave which is emitting by the DA1. Now into this solid angle D omega 1 because not all of all the electromagnetic wave which is emitted from DA1 is going to be strike on DA2. Because of the orientation there are some amount of electromagnetic wave which is emitted from the DA1 are going to incident on DA2 which is based on orientation and the solid angle be in the, made between DA1 and DA2. So, the amount or we can say that the radiant energy which is leaving the DA1 and the striking DA2 is given by IB1 DA1 cos theta 1 into D omega 1. Now, we know the equation for D omega 1, the solid angle which is made by DA2 substantial to DA1. So, by putting the value of D omega 1, we will get IB1 cos theta 1 cos theta 2 DA1 DA2 divided by R square. This energy is absorbed by the elementary R area DA2 since the both surfaces are black. So black surface absorb all the electromagnetic wave which is going to incident on it. So this all the energy is going to be absorbed by the area DA2. Now the quantity of energy radiant by DA2 and absorbed by DA1 can similarly given by DQ21 IB2 cos theta2 cos theta1 DA2 DA1 divided by R square because in conduction we know whenever there is a temperature difference between two system the heat will flow from higher temperature system to the lower temperature system. 
Similarly, in convection also, the heat will transfer from the higher temperature system to the lower temperature system. But in a radiation, if there are two plates, one at temperature T1 and one at temperature T2, it doesn't matter whether T1 is greater than T2 or T2 is greater than T1, both the surfaces emit electromagnetic wave which is going to be incident on another surface. So, here we have two plates, the differential area are dA1 and dA2. So, as we have considered that the some amount of electromagnetic wave which is going to be emitted from the dA1 and incident on dA2, similarly, there are some amount of electromagnetic wave which is going to be emitted by dA2 and incident on dA1. So, as we have written for the equation for dQ122, we can similarly write for dQ221 is equal to instead of IB1 here, it will be it would be IB2 cos theta2 cos theta1 GA2 D1 divided by R square. So we have equation for dQ122 and equation for dQ221. This equation shows the amount of electromagnetic wave emitted from surface 1 and incident on 2. This equation shows the electromagnetic wave emitted from surface 2 and incident on surface 1. So from these two equations, we can calculate the net rate of energy transfer between dA1 and dA2. Suppose there are 10 kJ which is emitted from surface 1 and received by surface 2 and 3 kJ which is, which is emitted by surface 2 and received by surface 1. Then we can easily calculate the net radiant heat transfer between these two surfaces by 10 minus 2. So, similarly, dQ122 is equal to dQ122 minus dQ21. This dQ12 represents the net rate of energy transfer between surface 1 and 2. So, by putting the value of this dQ122 and dQ221, here cos theta 1, cos theta 2, dA1, dA2 divided by R square will common in bracket it's IB1 and IB2. Now in this equation IB1 and IB2 represent intensity of black body of surface 1 and surface 2 respectively. Now we know the relation of intensity and emissive power. In our previous video we have derived the relation between emissive power and the intensity of the radiation which is intensity I is equal to emissive power divided by pi. So for surface 1, IB1 is equal to EB1 divided by pi and for surface 2, IB2 is equal to EB2 divided by pi. So putting the value of this IB1 and IB2 in our equation, we will get Q, dQ12 is equal to dA1 dA2 cos theta1 cos theta2 divided by pi r square in bracket EB1 minus EB2. Now in this equation, EB1 and EB2 is emission power of black body. So from Stephen Boltzmann law, Instead of EB1, we can write down sigma into T1 raised to 4 and instead of EB2, we can write sigma into T2 raised to 4. So, sigma will be common, so it will be uh, written uh, out of the bracket. So, in bracket it will be T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4. So, this equation represents net rate of heat transfer between surf, uh, DA1 and DA2. So, it is represented by DQ122. This is the equation for differential area which we have considered from the old plane. We have considered dA1 from the total area A1. We have considered dA2 from the total area A2. So if we want to apply this equation for the total area, then we need to integrate this equation with respect to total area A1 and A2. So the rate of total net heat transfer for the total areas A1 and A2 can be written as Q122, here it is differential area, so dQ122, here total area, so Q122 is equal to integration of this dQ122 is equal to sigma T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4 integration with respect to total area A1 and integration with respect to total area A2. Cos theta 1, cos theta 2, dA1, dA2 divided by R square given as it is. Done. Now, the rate of radiant energy emitted by A1 and fall on A2. We have equation. This, this equation, in uh, we have seen this equation in our previous slide. That the amount of radiation which is emitted by surface 1 and going to incident on surface 2. So from this equation, we can write, this equation is for dA1 and dA2. So for 
total area A1 and A2 we can write Q122 IB1 cos theta1 cos theta2 d a one da 2 by R square remain as it is for the total area we have to integrate this equation by area A1 and A2 instead of I we can write down sigma T1 raised to 4 divided by pi instead of IB1 we can replace IB1 by sigma T1 raised to 4 divided by pi so also the net rate of total energy which is radiated by A1 is given by again I repeat again the rate of total energy which is radiated by A1 total area of plate A plate 1 is given by Q1 is equal to A1 into sigma T1 raised to 4 this sigma T1 raised to 4 represents the emissive power and this A1 is the total area of the plate 1 so rate of total energy radiated means the amount of electromagnetic wave which is emitted from the surface one from the plate one can be written as Q1 is equal to A1 sigma T1 raised to 4. So this is this equation shows the total amount of electromagnetic wave or total amount of energy which is radiated by A1. This Q122 represent the amount of radiation amount of energy which is absorbed by surface 2 which is emitted from surface 1. So from this two equation we can write down the fraction of rate of energy that leaving area A1 and incident or impinging on area A2 by Q122 divided by Q1. So we will get this equation by Q122 divided by Q1. This Q122 represent the amount of energy which is received by surface 2 from surface 1 the net heat transfer between 1 to 2 the amount of electromagnetic wave which emit from surface 1 and incident on surface 2 this Q1 represent the total electromagnetic wave which emitted from surface 1 so from that whole electromagnetic wave only some amount of electromagnetic wave which is going to be incident on surface 2 so the ratio of Q1 to 2 divided by Q1 is give us some value which is the fraction. Fraction shows that this amount of electromagnetic wave is going to be incident on surface 2 from total amount of electromagnetic wave which is emitted from surface 1. So this Q122 divided by Q1 this equation is known and can written as F122 which represents the fraction known as the configuration factor or we can say that the surface factor or we can say that the view factor because according to orientation between surface 1 and surface 2 the amount of electromagnetic wave which is emitted from surface 1 and which is going to be absorbed by surface 2 can be decided so the in radiation mode of a transfer orientation orientation between two geometries plays an important role so this f122 which is known as view factor or configuration factor or shape factor or surface factor plays important role in heat transfer by radiation mode. Now, so the definition of shape factor can be written as the fraction of radiative energy that is diffused from one surface element and strikes the other surface directly with no intervening reflections. So from this theory up to this point we have understand that the total amount of electromagnetic wave which is going to be emitted by surface 1 that total amount of electromagnetic wave is not going to incident on surface 2 it depends on the orientation and solid angle between these two bodies that from that total amount of electromagnetic wave only some amount of electromagnetic wave is going to be incident on surface 2 clear now we know that the rate of energy that leaving area A1 and incident on area A2 is Q122 divided by Q1. This is our shape factor or view factor. We also know it is denoted by F122. F122 means amount of electromagnetic wave emitted from surface 1 and going to be incident on surface 2. We know the value of Q1, the total amount of electromagnetic wave or net energy which is going to be emitted by surface 1 is A1 into sigma t1 raised to 4 
So from this equation, if we cross multiply this q1 with f122, we will get q122 is equal to f122 a1 sigma t1 raised to 4. So this f12 is our shape vector, which is our fraction of q122. So as we have derived this equation for q122, similarly we can uh, write down equations for the rate of radiant energy by a2 that falls on the a1. So which is written as q221 here. The rate of total energy A2 is given by Q2 A2 sigma T2 raised to 4. Similarly, we can write down Q21 divided by Q2. And this equation represents F221. F221, which is shape factor of A2 with respect to A1. So okay, comparing the equations. First, we have Q122 divided by Q1 is equal to this, where this whole term is known as the U factor or shape factor, which is divided by F122. Similarly, for 221, this is F21, this whole equation is known as the shape factor. By comparing these two equations, we will get A1F12 is equal to A2F21. This equation is known as the reciprocity equation or reciprocity theorem. The above result is known as the reciprocity theorem. Now, net rate of heat transfer between surface A1 and surface A2 is given by Q122 is equal to A1F12 to sigma T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4 or instead of A1F12, we can write A2F21 sigma T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4. This is applicable to black surfaces only. So, this is today's theory, heat transfer or heat exchange between two black bodies. That's it for